Onivia, League of Legends highlights. For many avid pro followers, this shouldn't be something new, but with the animization changes, with things like Riftmaker now being a lot stronger and having a much, uh, from what I've heard from top pro, uh, pro top laners, the build path is now just a lot more. Um, the, uh, the other one that I've heard a lot about is, you know when you get kills, it gives you stack, it increases the cooldown reduction of your items. Yes, Ingenious Flash Hunter, Adam. really strong, and actually works on someone like Renekton, as Shale's looking up towards the top side here. Broken Blade, no way out of this, as Shale will get first blood here. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, Nuke is falling low, but he's able to dash and flash and escape under the safety of his tower. Yike now looking down towards that bottom side. Both teams playing on the opposite side of the map to where we expected them. Ghost comes out from Hans, Summer, handshake back. Ice tries to flash under the tower, and now we see Mickey already falling, taken out by the BDS bot lane, but they get one in response. TP now burnt. As Lebrov tries to escape, Yike low, Adam joins the fray, stuns Hans Summer. It's a two for two under the tower. TP in from Adam, coming in, clutch, commit to it. He could have just accepted, but Hans was bloodthirsty. He wanted to try and secure himself that extra bit of gold. Broken Blade now in a lot of danger. Being forced out here, Dominus is blocking. Broken Blade just can't survive. Adam already with the tier mat, likely building up, possibly towards the Titanic Hydra. We did see the pushing in though. Hans has good guns for a fight if one was to erupt. There's the paranoia. They look for Hans Sama with the Severum and the Crescendum. He's still pulled back. The bailout won't be enough to save him as BDS now. 2,000 gold ahead. Great play there from BDS. Once Shale got the level the six. Elongated wall on the red side makes it slightly harder for them to enter, but the only Drake, the only soul at least. They're finding advantages top. You can leave Adam on an island now. Broken Blade is going to take a very long time before he can really duel. In the bot lane, two versus two, Lebrov is getting very feisty. Yeah, Ice going forward. They do have the Fates call for Ice here as Mickey level up. levels up. And Ice doesn't Fate call Lebrov out of it. Yike now coming down. Ice realizes he's not in the best of spots. Yike could burn the flash, doesn't need it. For the cease and desist, and he batters Ice down. Ice dodges away. But Yike's still able to pick up that pink bar next to his portrait on the left, almost ticking over 2-6. Adam is going a little bit aggressive here. Shale's on the way as well. Paranoia coming out. TP burnt by Caps, and Adam should be able to walk out of this one as the re-engage is invested by Shale. The flash forward from Yike. Shale's going to flash away. Adam does the same. Flash forward, though, by Caps as he manages to lock down Adam. And the shutdown goes into the waiting arms of Yike. So G2 decides to... In your fear. It's Even if they flash, often you can it's chase everything them. the Nocturne could want, exactly. basically. Now, G2 on the second dragon of the game. They are going to secure it. BDS, very late to contest, but they're committing the TP. Adam looking for that Dominus. There's the Paranoia in as well. They've already managed to pull back Mickey, and he might just be sacrificed here by G2. Mickey falls. BDS get one kill in response, but they burnt a lot to do so. Broken Blade is going to cross map on the top side, which means that it overall will be a dragon and a tower for G2, but a kill, and hopefully for BDS, they're able to secure this mid tower. I mean, they have Demolish on they Adam, they have the yeah, Void yeah. Mites. They've become their final form. They their time in making sure they take the Rift Herald. Now, there's two possible reasons for this one. They might be trying to win the game. I'm pretty sure it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in any case, BDS, they may have found a pick. Paranoia coming down towards the bottom side, and there's the locker. Broken Blade trying to escape for the fear connects. And X marks the spot, but Lebrov uses it a little Hang bit on. too late to get the kill. G2 now starting up the Baron. Lebrov and Sheo on their way up. No Paranoia, no TPs either. Sheo trying to chase in here. TP behind as Adam is going to try and join the fight, but already 4,000 HP on the Baron. G2 might have just snuck this one right under BDS's nose as they get it. Adam trying to get him from the side. Yike locks him up. The Ruthless Predator to stun on. Yike means that Adam will put some damage down. Mickey the first to fall. The hostile takeover to disengage. The re-engage as Sheo dashes the wall, flashes it perfectly so that Yike doesn't... Yeah. Should bot lane. The Omni Vamp really coming through there from the Rift Maker as well and what makes it such a stronger item. Now the Vi looking for a play in bot. TP coming in, Adam with the Dominus looking for the re-engage. Lebrov going to join the fray as they lock down. Yike! But they can't quite kill him up in time to get him. After the Nico ultimate is used, Caps trying to escape now as Adam chases him down, but he's rooted and locked up and Gwen will snip him to death. The double for Broken Blade as G2 strike on the top side of the map. I mean, it's a two for one trade and they should unlock a tower as well. PDS slowly starting to fall apart here in the mid game. And he's just been able to pick up. That should put him in a much better position. And now G2 is looking to secure another tower. And just like Gap, Nico providing great kiting tools.
And then each kill just being picked up by Broken Blade, working towards that death gap. Oh, no, coming up for G2 here again. BDS will have to immediately disengage, but the tower's already falling. The spell shield from Shao leaves Adam isolated. LeBrov trying to get him back from the back of the fight. Nuke's here to join as well. Shao has been chased down, but Mickey's low. Death Mark's the spot for him. Cap's trying to escape as Nuke chases him down. Hunt Summer putting the damage from the bottom side of the fight. The Pop Blossom dodged by Nuke, but Broken Blade now joins the party. And Broken Blade will snip them to pieces. LeBrov tries to dash away, but Hun Summer has a flash and has a say in how the fight ends. And now they're looking to secure the tier two in the bot lane. And that's the backbreaking play you have to feel. Until that moment, there was an opportunity for BDS to get back in, but here, likely an inhibitor falling. Broken Blade at two items, almost at three with the Rabadons. Rift Maker alongside Storm Surge, probably the most broken item as time. G2 behind in the early game, managed to fight back in the mid game. LeBrov caught here by Yike, trying to channel the Q, but he's already shut out. Thunder from above as the Storm Shirts connects. There's the Pop Blossom and Pop goes BDS. Shale, the last man standing in the top lane fray, but he'll be snipped away and won't live to fight another day. Yike doesn't have the ultimate, no cease and desist for him. But, uh, they'll still be able to chase away Adam and Ice and now be a G2 knocking on the doors of the Nexus, second inhibitor to fall, and maybe they'll look for more. Under 30 minutes, just like that, G2 have the Nexus in their eyes to flash in from Mickey. Off style takeover forces Adam to go berserk and start, start hitting ice. The Nexus tower now focused down by G2, and for the first time in our new arena and in 2024, G2 will take the win. The thing with Bard, he's like Barrett. He'll be spotted out on a ward, but Larson's very up in the lane. Larson has a lot of time to get away from here. You can see those bushes now further so away good. from the middle of the lane, so Hang you can bit, just walk Larson. away. He walks back in, Niski shuffles forward, Niski low on mana, but Isma's able to get in. Larson has to flash. Doss trying to they get in from flash. the side as well. Flash forward from Isma, and Larson walked back into the gank, gets the speed up, but will fall for first blood. I have questions. That was... Why did Larson do that? Rums. It seems that SK's game plan right now is to just keep the pressure on Larson. Doing it well. Niski gets the pull back. Larson locked up and Niski will take the kill. SK 2 and 0 oh to the good. They make that look very spawning on Marku's top side. SK saying, you know what, we can actually get this. Maybe we can, maybe we can even threaten to dive on top of so We can quickly look at that top. Fourth and a fifth if they manage to take both of these. And it looks like they should be able to get them. Doss going in with a magical journey. Ignite already down on Shigende. He tries to flash away. Isma on the chase, though, will follow him up. And Irrelevant gets his first kill of 2024. That's a creative use of the terrain changes. I don't have to go through the tri-bush, round the river, and then actually come to collapse, which gives them a window to collapse themselves. But uh, the Bard catching him off guard now. Niski, Niski in a no lot of danger. Flash. Comp has Chain of Corruption. Zoelise is here as well with quickness. There's the charm. There's the follow-up. And Rogue, after 11 minutes, are finally on the board. Nice punish there. Makes sense with them. Now looking for the Dragon. It's going to be a Rift Herald for Dragon Trade, as Rogue will get the objective that sticks around as a permanent buff. The threat from SK, the Herald likely to come out in response. There's the tower. First tower of the game for Rogue. As you say, Herald will... Who's going to ride it? It's Isma. He's going in. Charges forward. The Tempered Fate hitting onto Larson. He still has the flash, and Shigenda has a flank position here. Remember, Exekick has no flash from the Dragon play, and Zoalise will lock him down and say good day. Rogue get their second kill on the board. Very well played there from Rogue. Once again, a good punish onto SK's aggression. The Herald's Decent amount of control over the map. The towers are pretty even. They would love to unlock this mid tower. As Shigenda now in a lot of danger. Isma has found his way to top lane. Shigenda tries to flash away, world end up hopped as Doss joins the face. Shigenda with a magic damage shield, but it's not going to be enough. The Ignite ticking and Isma securing the kill for SK in the top lane. They're going to push forward. This will be a tier one falling, their second tower of this game. Really good punish. He has a lot of nooks and crannies to play with. He tries to hide out of vision, instead he's just frontlining Cosmic. Coming back oh, up Isma. on him, Isma flashing forward, looking for the damage, but there's the quickness, there's the charm. Niski with a good shuffle back, means that Larson's in the middle of the enemy team, and here with the first to fall. Alongside him, we've seen Niski go down, but Zoalise and Rogue are on the run. Marcoon sniped by Exekick. The binding coming out as well as Zoalise lands a double knockup before it. He will pay with his life. A clean fight from SK in the end. Ends up being four dead on the side of Rogue, and this will unlock the dragon for SK.
Niski took a huge amount of damage at the start of that fight, and he decided to... On the Barons, though, at least stepping forward as well. They can't quite find an avenue in here, though, because SK continue to chip away at the Baron. Lower and lower it goes, though Elise rooted up with a captive audience and Doss takes the kill. Tempo V just wide of Larson, but Irrelevance in the midst of four here. Tries to snip his way through, can't quite can't do it, but the Baron will be forfeit. Rogue got a kill. Begin their siege onto Rogue's base. Yeah, not really much you can do here as Rogue. You need another item on comp, perhaps another item on Larson. With Spear and Titanic, pretty tanky right now. Spear changed slightly. When you hit a spell, you grant uh, stacks, and then you do increased damage for each stack with your spells. But uh, still does give you that non-ultimate ability haste. Doss locked up for a second, pulled back with the Infernal Chains, rooted. It's a magical journey down and should be able to go through it. Just gets through before Marcoon lands that sonic wave. Tower in the bot lane will now fall as Niski chips away at it. And I'll snap with the Baron, but it is a tight one, that's for sure. And it is a big gamble. They don't have the fastest Baron team. And Zoelis find the engage. You have to feel Larson now stepping up, feels he's strong. Gravadon's complete on him. Three items Oriana. We've seen Shockwaves turn a game like this before. Isma dives in. The TP behind is irrelevant joints. Shigenda going in. Zoe Elise trying to get on towards that front line. Niski there as Exekit kills off Marcoon. Shigenda on the back line now is irrelevant. Tries to just chip him away. Irrelevant low, but it's SK's day. They start to sweep up the fight. Everyone surviving for them. Shigenda not stunned by that cosmic binding, but SK get two. They get the mid jungle duo. And now they can just back away. Shigenda's going to try and gain some tempo for his team as Doss flashes and misses. Unrelenting here from SK. Irrelevant chipping away at that mid lane tower. He's doing more than chipping, Betty. He's melting. That's a whole Ooh, chip Isma. for him as Isma goes in. <laughs> the tower falls. They're looking for more as Niski slides forward. Larson already falling. Marcoon short to follow. Zoe Lee's now at the edge of the blades of Irrelevant and he. It's not long for the rift. Comp will fall and SK. All it took was a Baron for them to work their way into the base and demolish it. SK with their first win of winter. Seeing in this game as well, a bow can actually have a huge impact on the Gragas because on this patch, he's one of the lowest win rate. Wait, wait, wait. Well, they might be baiting us, but this could Maybe. potentially because be. Because you're not getting that push that you kind of expect from the Azir in this matchup, it means that you're able to go for play like this and catch a bow. Found wandering Bow. Bow now in trouble. Bow is dead. There is absolutely no way out of that one. First blood for Fnatic and the Faithful come alive here in Berlin. Now, it has netted them a huge amount of control with the CS lead that upset her. Buff will reset. Bow here waiting. Again, man advantage. As Humanoid will be late to the Roman again. They're going to go for the pushback this time. They'll find their man. Razor now in trouble. Instantly going to try to leap over the wall and get a little bit more done. Doesn't quite have the damage. And a bit of revenge for Bo, backed up by his buddies on the bottom side. Attack speed, it's such a strong item, specifically for champions like Felios, who might get to see it now. Targamus, now in trouble! Mandate will not save him from that! Azric mandating a quick death there. Support on the opposite side. A bit over eager, pushing in there. Thought that Bo being on the not ready for it. He will just get cut down there. Fnatic grouped on the objective. Bo going in. It's 1v1 smite fight, but Fnatic looking to change that. Bo still standing for now. Both ulties now coming out, Kamo Shard doing so much work, Upset now flashing out over the wall. And again, the Herald 2k health is finally going to get taken out by Fnatic, and it's human over the backside. He's got a low blinking health bar, but the calling is cutting him down quick. Kamo waiting off to the side, Upset, where is he going to go? Flashing from Razor, instant knock, I'm going to get the kill down. Zin Zhao doing a bit of work, and Targum is running, but he gets the kill. That's the Zaza's Realm Spike, baby, coming in clutch. Razor chasing down the fish. Easy peasy is an absolute bloodbath on the top side. Razorwork in no man's land. So Bo's health bar is blinking. Forced to immediately all get the counter strike down, but they've got the CC, they've got the damage, they've got the kill. Shut down, going into the back pocket. Coming through, leveraging the natural sustain of the pick, and now all this AP. Uh, it's going to pay off in team fights against a lot of these squishier champions. Well, Shard, because you can look at the rest of the map. Garmin Corp really aren't in a position to do anything else. Cabadu here. Again, the downside of the AP build, pretty easy to pick you off. You can just layer your damage down, Cabo in for a little bit of time, but simply not going to be enough. Saken on the top side, finally getting the pushback. Targum is looking for the knockup, interrupting the second half of the perfect execution. Saken just barely holding on. That's such a big pick for Carmine Corp. They get the kill on top side. Upset's going to get the mid lane terror as well. I mean, might get this terror just before Oscar Erden comes in. They're Good bubble from the tower. Now with Oscar's in no man's land. Go back away. Razor moving up towards his top side. 
spots out Cabo. He knows that there's definitely more people coming. And reset for sake of the bottom oh. lane. Maybe there's a TP coming top here to They're save Cabo. In. Cabo will he once again be left to the slaughter here. So many members on the top side. Multiple members now coming. Cabo Shark with the shield now coming in. Is going to be able to make it out, but isolated is Bo on the back side of the fight. He needs to retreat. Target missed an upset on the way in, but Noah's got great guns for a fight. They have to be careful. Saken, is he once again looking for an angle? But there's the Rift in front! <laughs> Razorke Medic, that's all I'm saying. Razorke Medic, not going to be able to get the charge. So, one of the things that we used to see a lot with Lucian, uh, Lucian Nami is that you'd play pretty heavily. Start this one up. So many champions that can just shred through this. These here and Lucian together alongside the Jax. Razork waiting over the wall. One pushback, a knockup coming through Razork. He decides to make flashes into the pit, but no, Bo locks this one down. The fight immediately to follow. Noah uncontested on the backside, just throwing down autos left and right. Bo will be sacrificed, as is Targamus, but three blue or purple buffs make it out alive. Skirin can try and push in topside to try and force them to answer up there, but realistically, Oscar and hey, how long can we delay this uh, bar and play? Because now they won't be able to crack open an inhibitor, and Oscar and just kind of watching them leave, saying, "Hey, get off my lawn." You're not yeah, going to get a it. default. So the fact that you only lose one tier two as Fnatic is pretty positive overall. Bo now going in, managed to the stun. Oh, oh, oh! You asked for a humanoid, and he gave it to you. That was so much damage. You have to be very careful. Very squishy. It is dangerous. You don't have the ults for Karmic Corp. Fnatic know this. One more 50-50 couldn't hurt, right? Fnatic now stepping in. Bo off to the side using the Counter-Strike. Potentially a window of opportunity, but he's immediately going to leap out to safety. 5k, objective getting lower. No a decent guns for the fight. Knock him under Razork is big. Massive shield now coming in courtesy of Sterix. Bo goes in, but Razork says not again. Managing to take the objective. Humanoid push back into the waiting arms of his team. It's everything Fnatic could have wanted. They're going to the second that Fnatic realized it, they were like, cool, well, we've got the cozy campfire. We've got the ability to heal up. We're just going to play for this and make sure that we're in a good spot. And now they can. Finds Oscar in. Off to the side. Oscar with the red buff. Sagan's gonna have a hard time getting away from this one, but has the Sun Disc to fall back to. Conversation strong. Mechanic Rooker coming through for Oscar in, but it's not gonna stop a lot of the physical damage. Fall up. Razork now immediately leaping in. Sagan gonna be in trouble. That was all damage. Okay, immediately gonna follow up there. Red and blue layer and down the AoE. Now swapping over. Cabo Shark blinking. Upset on the backside. Wants to clean this one up. Pulling now coming out. Targum is standing behind him, but so far just a double kill for Fnatic. Cabo and Saken both Humanoid. taking it down. But another flank is big. We can find the angle. The Shuriken flip on the upset. It'll be big. Instantly goes in. Finds it. Gets it. Bo now ready to leap in to stop the play from happening. Humanoid cannot find the follow-up. Bo, the hero, to protect the back line. Fnatic continuing to push in. So far, the fight is in their favor. No objective to play for. And Humanoid off to the side. Steps away to hit the Scryer's one. KC now moving in. Bo coming over the wall. No leap strike for a few seconds. Now they're just trying to get the Jacks out of the picture. 4K. Tons of shurikens on Noah, but he's out of white gun ammo. This is not ideal. If KC can maybe find a fight, but in the meantime, Oscar just making sure Bo cannot come to play. Burning down the Baron. Fnatic keep their eyes on the front. Targum is going to drop down as well. It's the Oscar Ridden show on the top side. Kasate, baby. Coming in close. Bit of a sparring match. Bit of limit testing as a calling. Chunks out Noah's health bar, but he quickly heals up here. And Humanoid, in the meantime, position much stronger. The Akali, the looming threat of the all-in there. On the three-man court. His bread is buttered. He just needs to keep Noah safe, and he's going to do a damn good job of doing that with the items he has. Oh. It will block the grab at some route. John. But there's Oscar. Body blocking as much as he can, but he's not too tanky. Redemption coming in, but it's going to be enough. Oscar just barely able to get away the knockback into the arms of Razor, but it's Noah in trouble. KC find their target. And they needed to do that quick because look at bot lane. Humanoid already there. TP coming through from Cabo Shard to keep the Akali off the tower. Now they turn towards Razork. They can take down Razork. It's a guaranteed bear. And the pushback is there. But Sagan is there too. Razork now taking out. GA being proc. TP coming in. Jun, can he save the day? Can he save his jungler? The answer is yes. The flash up of Bose looking to follow up. Instantly, Razork. Keep him off of this, but Banshee's Veil is there. There's a there. TP. Cabo just needs to interrupt it. Can he stop it? Barrel. Belly bot. There's no answer. Cabo now flashing out to safety. The objective getting lower and lower. It's the 50-50 win becomes lightning. Razor finds his way into the pit. And he takes the Baron! He will not be outdone today! KC now fishing for the fight. Sinkin needs to get something, but they will walk away. It looked promising. He got better and better. Then he wasn't able to play in the season finals, unfortunately, due to injury. But here he is on the stage again in 2024. <laughs> Looking unkillable and making the plays necessary to secure the objectives. That's that Brazork 
running in. KC just after a retreat now. Bow already low. Oscar in the midst of everyone. And it might just be a slaughter. Human right goes golden, buys a bit of space. Daph is out of safety. Oscar in it, chasing forward on the front lines. But KC, do they have a rebuttal? Saken still standing. Health bar still strong. Oscar now backing off. Noah untouched, trying to lay down. Just on the lines on Razorks. Uh, Coolden's right now. They need the W to hit. They need the whip. It goes on. They got no business being here because it's humanoid on the flank. The soul belongs to Fnatic and KC need to run for the hills. Lightning falls from the sky. Storm surge looking strong as ever. And Fnatic taking complete control of their first game in the LEC. Fnatic will start to run it down the mid lane. They can see the win in their eyes. They got the soul and they're going to crack open the base here for Carmine Corp. Fnatic keeping calm, cool, and collected in the early game. Bring the resources in to protect Noah. Razor having a tear. Oscar Rinnan having a fantastic game, leveraging and abusing the new itemization to make sure that he's remembered in this one. Humorlet going into the back line upset. That's nowhere for you to go, Fnatic. Moving in. KC's first game. A warm welcome into the LEC, but it is Fnatic who will knock them down. Fnatic find first blood. Incredibly hard fall for so into the jacks. I think he'll do relatively okay. Also, Lethality's good. Lethality's yeah. just much stronger. It's essentially just forty percent stronger in the early game. Yeah, and I've um, even seen people like... to walk into enemy jungle. Can't really stick around here. Level one for Patrick and Ignar just now going to go for the wave. And Daglos looks like he's going to start this one off clean. Cleanse out from Patrick. Daglos could be in trouble. He's now pulled back and taken down for first blood. A generous donation to Patrick's retirement fund. It's pretty tricky to navigate. Uh, I, what I'm about to say is an absolute cope, so bear with me. All the right, good news is Draven didn't have that many stacks, but he's getting another cash out, baby! Peach now going for the follow-up here. The knock-up is there. Peach is going to get that one solo bolo. This is bot side domination. My god. Ruby, Chris, Crystal, Peach is going to decimate Daglas. Patrick's just going to walk away. There's a TP now coming in. Peach is just on the way down. They need to get out of here fast. This is not a, if first you don't succeed, try, try again. This is, oh, it's going to work out the same way. Ignar says, get back here. And we're being quickly reminded. Each perform. How does, the, I felt like the bot lane was going to have to be the ones that really stepped up. And they are putting a lot of those. Uh, continue to leverage this advantage on bot side to be like, hey, we can take for dragons. We can start to move for a rip to 14. Cars is dead. Alti comes out, Karthi tries to walk back, he gets a brief moment of life. Ignar gets the kill, though they deny the cash out, but I have a feeling that Hillisang might just be next. Ignite is now ticking, Kavstrick desperately needs to keep the kill, deny the money! The shutdown comes through! Redemption! Hilly finds the angle. Ignar is level 6, he pushes <laughs> the death button, and he is successful in finding that Odawamne now going all in on top side. Hilly gets a kill back, bot side, but... When you're able to just play so heavy for bot lane, Titanic Hydra complete onto Peach as well, thanks to the early kills. He's ringing out Jackie's good roam timing here, though. Odawamne could be in trouble here. Dagos is going to be able to find the CC to follow up. Good start to the fight. Jackie's now looking for the knockup. He's going to find three. Photon just barely able to step out and grab that kill for himself. Bit of a slip up on the top side from Jackie's. Well played. Engage on the bottom side. Pullback is there. Hillsang immediately going to ult. Decent damage now coming in as Peach and Ignar fight. TP there. Peach going to do what he can to hold on. Ulti to push Photon back. Photon now leaping in. They're trying to keep the fight going. Desperate. If Patrick gets a single kill, this could be a disaster. One shot down now coming through. Can they take Patrick out as well? One more kill. They will. He gets the cash out first. But they manage to find the kill on the bottom side. Hope for Vitality. On the bottom side. Giant X have committed to the play. Jackie's is here. Wave is now going to come in. Are they going to go for the dive? Swarting that one out. Hostile takeover comes out. It's going to hit Patrick. Peach is in trouble. Peach getting burned down by his own Draven. Now the execute not quite enough, but there's Jackies. He finds the angle. He waits. He bides his time. Two quick kills to the side of Giant X. Early able to give that little, you, know, you get the move speed, plus being able to then leave a trail behind for others to follow you means to keep quickly chase out. The early, early advantages she could normally build up. You can get a lot of work done on towers, but. Because you end up getting more gold if you hit people with this. Yep. You want to try and sit just oh. above the threshold where you got the option to suddenly burn a lot of those stacks on the enemy. But this is what I was talking about for Giant X. Need to get this bot lane terror down so you can start to open up some control here. Just knock this one down. Giant X maybe can find the counter play here, but the tower is likely to fall because of the Void Grubs. Hillisang now stepping forward, immediately trying to kick the play off, but it's going to be in trouble now. Luckily, Clista there to save BTO with the pushback. All coming up just in time. Daglas on the backside. Jackie's really not able to find much here, but Peach continuing to walk forward. That's the CC on the top side of the fight. Odawamne goes down. 
Starts the giant axe, not at an angle to follow up, but BTO now gonna be in trouble. Peach doing so much work, no one can get into the circle, but Daglas, Daglas taken down, flash in from Jackie's, two members locked up, so many blinking health bars, and now it's starting to rain money for Patrick in the mid lane fight. Massive turnaround play from Jackie's, having that pearl belt just to get in onto the back line and set up Patrick now, seven. Really need to get this Drake, do not want the team with the turbo fed Draven to get Infernal Soul. Need to take this Drake away to deny at least soul point. Zodawamne now gonna get pulled back. Daglas going for the engage of the wall. VTO on contest, but the hook comes through, but now it's a pushback. Finding the angle. Massive fight for Vitality. Jackie's once again gonna try to turn it, but all of his remaining teammates have been taken down. It is simply not enough. The pushback. Yeah. Devastating. VTO, the perfect ult. Ignar pulls him in and sets it up for the entire Vitality lineup. Jackie's will not make it out of this one alive. Daglas gonna find the shattering strike. Vitality will eventually find the kill, will take the Drake, and will even out the gold. The keys we have today are so back and forth. This... I cannot see Hill is Where does the hook go? Boom, boom, Blitzcrank. Can you find the angle with the big old box of gloves? Photon just running into the midst of the team, jumping in the stun, not quite going to connect though. Oh, that's devastating. The knockup is there as well for Peach. Photon just gets pulled back. That was not the play you were looking for, but if he finds the kill, he can reset it. He will! Oh, baby, one hell of a bailout coming through now as Giant X looks to try to turn this one on its heads. The instant response from Jackie's the ult could just be everything despite the Jax revive. BTO not able to connect on the Patrick. The Draven axes from over the wall. Odawamne finding the resets, but a clean proc of the Blast Cone to deny him a bit more access to the back line. It is Karzy versus the world now. Hell is going to do what he can to save Jackie's uncontested. Three carries versus Karzy. Can Karzy find the angle? One more bailout coming in. Renata, not enough. Jackie's and Odo finish the fight. Cinders explode onto the rift! Up and Ignar is ready for a hook. Um, it just feels like we are going to end up waiting for a while. On Knock mess. up. Good damage to kick the fight off onto Daglas. Daglas instantly pocketing the locket of Sol Iron Solari. Can he survive? No! Patrick throws down the ultimate. Hillisang instantly going to disengage with the hostile takeover as Ignar and Patrick try to fight to the death. Ignar holding on to his life, and that one is Photon. He spotted out. The blue trinket will confirm it. Was well, the Callista Ghost? Patrick trying this one. Hillisang off to the side again. No ultimate. That's gonna be TP canceled. Odo Wamne cannot come into the fight now. It's just the 1v1 versus the Jax. Buying a bit more time. Objective already taken out. And Odo's out. Great trade coming through from Giant X. I think they needed to try and force that with Jungler down because they'd lost that bot tier two. They will end up losing mid tier. Very much kind of feel the pinch coming into this now. As Vitality taking presence in mid lane. Jackie's back. They don't know. Big they don't know. He's going in, but they did. They saw it. They called it out. But will it be enough? Hostile takeover is massive. Patrick on the backside, uncontested, trying to take down Photon. Photon, is he tanky enough to survive for this one? Jax now going to get knocked down. Big cash out, big shutdown. But it's Odo on the side. It is a 2v4. Odo trying to make it out to safety. Vitality have stopped the Baron play in its tracks. That could be it. I mean, you've still got all five members now pushing down in mid lane. It's just Odo and Patrick. So may not be the e game, end of the game, but they're going to crack open this base. They're going to be able to move back over and pick up that next dragon as well. This is a big swing by Vitality, especially when Giant X had just gotten the Baron. They've got the Mites as well. Do they want a full commit for this one? they got a bailout. They've got so many tools to keep this going. Odo has to be careful. If he gets taken out, it would get that much easier to end. Patrick's still untouched on the backside. Odo Omne standing strong for now. That's the Sterix gauge gone. Want to keep this one going. TP up for Jackie's. Jackie's up in three seconds. One, zero there now. TP coming in. He's looking for the flank. This could be the game deciding play. It's the double TP. Which one's real? Jackie's three in the midst of everything. In his first game, he finds the angle to bring back hope for Giant X. Ulti comes out, Daglas just has to run for his life. Oda Wamne grabs the kill on a rampage now. How much can Giant X get? Vitality flew too close to the sun. They thought they could go for the end, but end up overextending. And now Giant X want to try and crack the base themselves. 30 second death timers. Photon by himself. I don't think he can hold. I don't think he can hold. All right, Jax. How kind was the patch to you? Going in, extra CC stun now going down, trying to take somebody out, but it's just not enough. They don't have the tools left, eyes on the prize. First win coming through for Giant X. What a turn from the rookie Jackies. M massive play by... This is actually playing Rise. <laughs> that is a throwback. So let's see.
I mean, this is a very mid-jungle focus game. We have the Vi Rice. Rice wants to push the waves, and then he's Vi behind him so he can push and Already move. invading. Already getting a bit more control in the jungle. Yankos. We'll spot this one out. Is he ready for the 1v1? But it's not even a 1v1. Alvaro first on the roam. There to cover. It's a nice clean play thus far. Perks, no real business being here. Chain's already now connecting. Blast Cone takes him over the wall. The wind does become lightning. Perks now forced to flash out to safety. Oh, yeah, yeah. does he want to follow up? And he does. Instant first blood for the side of Mad Lions. Koi Yankos now running for the hills. And it's going to be another one. Fantastic start for the rookie squad on stage. And this is uh, exactly how you... And that's how the meta works. You just keep ganking Bond. It's part of the reason why we saw Wonder pick such a defensive option like the Gragas. The pullback is there. Kaiser set up, lined up. El is not even going to do anything. He already got the assist. Just give it to Supa. Manages to grab a kill in the early game. I got to say, this is a perfect. She can struggle in those early stages, but I'm not going to get to talk because uh, El Yoya only exists for bot lane. And Amara's bot lane's not happy well. about it. Kaiser, where's the bubble going to go? It has to be perfect. But there's just not enough clean from Alvaro. Bot lane destruction. You're, uh, or just raw IP. You know, yeah. blasting one and a tome. Tome down to 400 gold now, so a bit of an easier pickup. Perks. On the retreat here, Ayo can just step in. Another chain now connecting. That's going to be the follow up. Ayo sidestep there. Wind becomes lightning. He can dash in. He has the extended range. If he doesn't need anything else, still has the ulti as well. Perks, they're taking their time. They donate the kill to Frescaui. And I got to say, El Yoya's discipline here to not take. Instantly making his way down there. And I think that's where for MDK it has worked out fantastically for them. And even the fact that you got like, we've got an AD LeBlanc that's going to pop over the wall, zap you for a quarter of your health bar and head off. Yep, and another chain connects onto Perks. Perks now running for the hills. Phase rush, not enough. Elia there to follow up the game. Unplayable for the man in the mid lane. Perks just not able to find it. She doesn't beat gold more often than not. Right now, MDK have a whole heck of a lot of gold. It does. Oh, hang on. Maybe, maybe. The top side, knockback is there. One more stack, a little bit of extra healing. Should be an easy kick, kill, pick up. Extra Gwen healing, not enough. Team Heretics finally firing back. At least they're in, but it's only going to be a ticking time bomb, essentially, to let it go. And look at your bot side. They're being yeah. completely zoned off by everyone here as Kaiser's going to die. Yep, Kaiser's dead. Fight of the Nami. Fishing with dynamite there on that one. Alvaro now going to walk away. Flacket does decent damage here, has opted for is the reality. Super just walks in here and shreds through this tower. Hey, look. Yes, we'll get an earlier spike with the uh, Voltaic Cyclone Sword in the Ardent. And maybe we can look for some sort of big play, oh, but we go. it just feels so over. It's kind of the Helm's Deep Hold, but instead it works, you got Mites. The over the wall is Canal coming through. Fresh Kali just barely able to make it back to Coin, not going to finish the job. Kill going over to Alvaro. Out. Whether it's on a LeBlanc, whether it's on a Lucian, or maybe a bit of Lethality on an Aphelios as well. And those kids are some of the most decorated professional players in the history of European League of Legends. So understand how crazy that statement is. Maybe we go with Grand Dad instead. You know? Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Everyone now stepping forward. Wonder going to try to make it out of safety, but there's El Yoya. Wind becomes lightning. Wonder becomes dust. And El Yoya just keeps walking in. Supa on the way forward now. Big damage coming in. Ulti not going to connect from Aphelios. Knock up there from the tidal wave to stop the play. But press Cowie on a rampage. In the corner of your screen, he finds the pick. And Mad Lions Koi are dominant. I don't think there's much to say. Like basketball. I don't know what to tell you, but I also don't watch it. I just know that one reference. Anyway, here we go. Fight breaking out. Super now following up. El Yoya unstoppable. MDK building a highlight reel in one game that would take many players months. It is an effortless slaughter. That early invade, setting up that bot lane going for these picks. Ayoye, this is very much looking like he wants to make 2024 his year. With this. There is nothing that they know <laughs> is happening. They we don't, don't know even know what happened. History will not record this moment. It all forms. Terror, continue to shove in. This is, this is, what? The, I mean, Wonder's kind of walked up to check that, yeah, super nice. It feels comfortable. I think that is something that you kind of have to look forward and go, okay, cool. They, they understand. Perks, two items for Flacken. Two items for Wonder. Some room. They can lock down Frescaui, but immediately the counter punch now comes out. Yankos dies. Knockback is there. Hostile takeover coming through. Perks is going to be in trouble as well. The chain's not quite going to connect. MDK will now break into the base, knock down this inhibitor. Look to take a second. Slightly closer to the side to Team Heretics. Yeah, it's not happening. <laughs> no. <laughs> Heretics firmly underneath their own structures. 
two minutes 40 until mountain? Question mark, do we, do we get to that point? Mad Lions, Koi. Take another Baron. It is crazy that it's second part in 26 minutes. It's a slow siege. It was the early game and the mid game transition that made this one fantastic for Mad Lions, Koi. This now is just their just desserts. They've earned this start to finish. Oh, you're now going in. It's a quick final fight. It is a slaughter. Kaiser, the last one standing, but it does not matter. Mad Lions, Koi, finding their first victory on stage. I don't know what the word to describe that game.